Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to solve word problems on arithmetic series. And this is the first part. Let's take this example right here. What is the sum of the first 100 numbers? So that includes one all the way to 100. So we can go ahead and write it out. So that's going to be one plus two plus three plus four plus five, and then we just go ahead and write three dots here. The three dots tells us that there are still numbers after that. Then we can go ahead and say plus 99 plus 100. So we're supposed to be adding all of these. We can actually use calculator on this. We can add all them up. So you can go ahead and say one plus two plus three and so on until you get to 100. You can do that. But today we are going to have some equations that would make our um, math fast and easy. So there are steps that we need to follow in order that we can solve this kind of problem. The first step is to determine the number of terms n, the first term a1, and the last term an. So then we can go ahead and um, I'm just going to go ahead and label the steps right here. So for step one, all we need to do again is the n n represents the number of terms. So in this problem here, we can go ahead and say that there are 100 terms. So our n is 100. And then the next one is our a sub one. A sub one represents the first term. So our first term here is one. So this is our a sub one. And then we can go ahead and label this here as uh, one right here. And then we are supposed to determine our a sub n. a sub n is the last term. So our last term is just label this as a sub n. So then we can go ahead and say that the a sub n is 100. So a sub n is 100. So that we can go ahead and move on to the second step. The second step is to plug the values into the formula to find the sum. So the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series is... Okay, so this is the formula to find the sum. So S sub N is the sum is equal to N, that's the number of terms, over 2 times the sum of the first term a sub 1 and the last term a sub n. So we go ahead and plug the values into the formula to find the sum. So this would be our n again is 100. So we uh, have written that up there. So that is 100 over 2 and that's um, going to be multiplied by a sub 1 which is 1 which is the first term. So our a sub 1 is 1 plus our a sub n which is the last term is 100 so that would be 100 right here so that we can go ahead and do the math here so 100 um, divided by 2 is 50 times 100 plus 1 is 101 and then once we multiply these two together this would come out 5050 so the sum of um, all the numbers from 1 to 100 is 5050 so this is the um, sum right here. Now others are going to say, can I just use the calculator to do that? Yes, you can, but it's going to take a while because that would be all the way to 100. So you just go ahead and press all the way to 100 here and that's going to be a lot of work. But if you um, use the formula, that would be quick. Now others are going to say, oh, that's not really bad. It's up to 100 only. Now if the problem is asking us to get the sum of the first 1,000 numbers. So that means that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way to plus 1,000. That would be a lot of work if you use the calculator. This steps that we have here and this formula that we have here will make math faster and easier. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!